Okay. Are you ready? How many of the uh, things have you done? I've been wanting to do that to you for so many videos. All right. Hold on. No, I didn't. I know. Hold on. Let's do a thumbnail. Hold on. Hurry up so we can start talking. All right. Welcome back, Roadie Foodie fam, to the channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Special guest. I'm not a birthday okay. girl. I just need to tell everybody that I just took a piece of food out of my mouth. Listen, it's because you've always was this the piece? yeah, that was the piece. You've always eaten before we started. Like, was like, <laughs> like handled. My I, face. I literally, I used that fork too. It's all yours. So, shout out, uh, shout out to Dan. I think he made uh, he made our our meals a little platter hey. here. I'm all, I'm down for it. Okay. Yo, Kyle Taco, always away. Um, so it was your birthday recently. It was yesterday, guys. I turned 31. Can you any, that? Any new, um... Yo, it's just the cheese bowl for me. Any new, um, what you call it? Goal? Life, um, life wisdom. You want to bestow to anybody? No, but if you guys go to my Instagram and follow me, I did find a really awesome sound that was talking about, like, what you don't know about birthdays is you expect to wake up and like feel different and you don't and it's just like an onion you're just a layer of all the years that came before and i really loved that i thought it was cool I made a cool video about it i didn't oh that's what the heck you were talking about yesterday yeah the video that i kept playing over and over again yeah i thought that was more of the because there's a sound where you go through the years that you've been alive no i told you it was something different but um, it's cool because it's like, it's talking about like, yeah, I turned 31, but like, I'm still 27, 19, 7. Oh, you're, like, you're still those people. Yes. Within the person that you are. Exactly. You know, it's an onion. deep. It was super deep. I loved it. You explained it way better right now. I do. It's very nice of you to say that. So yes. So mm. Justin is taking me to dinner tonight for my birthday. This is basically uh, an appetizer. Yes. Because... What happens when you roll up strong like tacos? I mean, he wouldn't think anything of it. Okay. <laughs> but, um... You're like, baby, you're so sexy right now. <laughs> um, mm. He'll be jealous that we went to Cali Taco without him. Yeah, mm. guys, so Lindsay's, uh, Lindsay's been driving me around. Car, yeah. car situation update. I was going to say, do they know? Not yet. So, also we're dropping. What's he doing? He just wants a piece of something. Um, so, we live in a great land here called America. Hey, baby. Where, uh... Wait, watch, watch. You can see him right in the, right in the crack. So gentle, good boy. I just gave him a piece of my pasta. Yeah, I don't know. He's just, wait. I would stay away from my pasta. Sorry. Why? Because of all the seasoning that goes around it. Adobo. Adobo is not good for dogs. He's a chihuahua, though. I think adobo. Ha that does not work. Oh shit, too. They can have wontons. So you can't do that. Seems disrespectful. So, what was my point? Car car update. Oh. I've been driving you around. I almost spilled the salsa on here. So, we live in a great country with insurance. Got a napkin. Where, <coughs> that is hot sauce. Yeah? Yeah. Be careful with that one. Okay. I didn't no tell uh, She looked at me and she was like, let's see how Mexican you are. It was a lot of judging that she gave me. So, when you get into an accident, or even, uh, and, and it's tough when you get a hit and run because there's no, like, at-fault at party, right? Well, there is an at-fault party, but... Hold on. So, the insurance company... Usually what happens, guys, with these car situations is that the insurance companies sue each other. It's mm -hmm. just a... Uh, I almost said the circle. Something. 
it's just a circle, circle yeah circle of death and um they can't go after somebody so they they're hard anyways long story short it's depending on your deductible which most people have a deductible of anywhere between 500 to a thousand mm. i feel like i'm somewhere in between i can't remember it was and 600 right i don't know what my de that, uh, deductible was so um so long story short it's not worth filing a claim to get money back because it's just cheaper to fix it because it's, it's cheaper to fix in the long run because they'll they'll bump up your uh your insurance rate like i just feel like that just sounds illegal Wait. Uh, they shouldn't be able to bump up your insurance rate if it's not your fault. I don't understand that. They'll find a way. Like, why? Because like casinos, they are in the business of making money, not losing money. Which I don't understand. If it's a hit and run, that's hard to prove too, right? Well, you think I went out there with a sledgehammer? I mean, you do look sus. Yeah. What kind of meat did you get? It's really good at steak. Mm. You never had a burrito from California Taco. I was surprised. The fire. I always get the tacos. Mm. Well, so. it's raw because I usually get a burrito, but I'm eating a big dinner later, so I had to get something light. So, <laughs> so long story short, after all is said and done, it's probably going to cost me with all the auxiliary charges and little things I have to get um it's probably gonna cost me like over a thousand bucks wait you told me it was gonna be like I said six seven hundred for some of the stuff but we still need to get the side fender and then he's they have to I thought you told me five six sorry no they have to go in and they have to bump out the things and then they have to sand it then they got to do the thing and then they got to paint it I thought that was just cosmetic though they don't really have to do that yeah but I'm not driving around like that I want it the way that it was when I you know I, I i plan on selling it you're right no you're right so, um damn yeah this whole time i was like i literally said to justin i was like oh the it's not even gonna be that bad ah. your girl was wrong dang yep so there's some person out there that cost me a gino so, who also left their piece of their car in the road. Appreciated that. So if you see and they a, got away with it. That's, that's the part that gets me. So, if y'all see a Volkswagen missing its front end, jacked up near Pawtucket, Rhode Island, holla. Holla at your girl. Mm-hmm. 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 No. It's so good. It's just so good. It is good. But I'm still a little... I'm, like, rethinking of all this stuff now. Thinking of what? I thought you were just going to say you're still hungry. I was like... No. Rethinking of what? What are we talking about? Oh, when you found the car? Hmm. He FaceTimed me. He was so mad. He was like, is this enough to call the police for? I was like, what are you talking about? He showed me the car and I was like, oh no. You know and, what though? And I had never gotten an accident. Like I've never been in an accident. So I didn't know the cadence. What do you have for insurance? Progressive. Same. I feel like they have accident forgiveness. Yeah, I feel like that's just for a commercial. Listen guys, I used to I used to work in insurance. Oh my God, and there's right. and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of like gray area side mouth speaking. Okay. He said, "GG gave me something." Let me give it to you. The salsa on everything, baby. Here we go. It's dinner time for him too. I'm gonna let him lick up all this uh, grease. No, you're not. He's spending the night with you then. She came okay. over and he peed all over the bed. Which that stuff works really good. Mm, mm -hmm. It got the scent out. Like he didn't even pee on the bed. The kicker is, mm. he actually has my comforter 
So brush your feet on my comforter. <laughs> And then, what did I say? I was like, well, it's your company you got to pay for it. Yeah, you're like, well, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad it came out, though. I can't do that when my car those, throws up on it. Those are so expensive, man. What? I went to, like, Home Goods. What's expensive? Those comforters. The duvet comforters are not cheap. I think the cheaper one that I got was, like, 50 bucks. Especially for something you're only going to use, at least for me, like, a few months out of the year. Oh, no, I use it every night. All right, fam, we're out of here. Mm. You guys know the cash app. <laughs> I'm just like, um, Lindsay, I-A-D-E-L. I, 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 I already told people no gifts this year. And I think Brisket and I, I think Brisket and I, are going to go camping during Christmas anyways. What? What's wrong? Guys, I need your help. What's wrong with camping? Nothing, but you should spend the holiday with your family. I'm your family. Brisket is also my family. I am hosting Christmas Eve. You should be there. That's all we're saying. Sounds like a scheduling conflict. <laughs> you ever seen that TikTok video? No. Where they want you to eat up, and I'll tell you. It's from uh, Dumb and Dumber. Oh my god. Oh, yours looks cleaner than mine. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We love and you guys. tell Lupe that he should come to my house for Christmas Eve. Okay, thanks. Bye. Or, Lupe, go camp and get some fresh air. Reset yourself in the new year. Spend some quality time with your dog. Yeah, go use, after. Go, use go the Christmas Day. Use the, and don't interrupt. Don't be a, don't be one of those rude people in society. Use the equipment that you spend so much money on. Test it out and all the different. See, even he's getting upset at you. Listen. We love you guys. Be well. You will take care of each other. Bye.